Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 EL2. Uh, last time we did a couple more missions, and I think uh, one of them... Wait, no. No, that uh, the brown mission is today. There it is on top. So yes, um, today we're going to be taking part in that. Submarine not available, it says, so this is not a submission uh, on Brown's path, which is a little unusual for her, her path, but that's okay. So today... Let's go ahead and look at a little bit of research that still says 96, so there's nothing new for us there. How are you doing? You're almost done, so we'll start you and start, or finish you and start the next one. Um, anything else of real interest here? Armor piercing. Um, sure, why not? Uh, let's go down to engines. I want to see if I can do more with uh, nuclear reactors and stuff. I can. Nuclear reactors, sub-nuclear reactor, and that's most of our money. I don't think we have any design changes to make to the battleship, so let's just go ahead and hop into this here with the battleship. And what's around here? Lots of stuff to the south. Well, let's go this way first since they're a little bit closer. I think uh, we're going to have some annoying little PT boats here to deal with, probably. If I had to guess, maybe not. Don't know. What are these guys? These are battleships, but I think they are not the one in front of us. Yeah, it's a little PT boat. I thought it was B. I thought it would be, rather. Get it, get it, hit it. Come on, there we go. Okay, back to the battleships now. Hello. Chaff grenades. Get back on target. No, we didn't quite sink that battleship. Enemy battleship, sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Yeah, they're a little bit tougher than uh, I expected them to be. Not that that matters too much with our, with our big cannons here that fire really quickly. Let's launch an illumination flare, get some survivors up here. Uh, we have a couple of more PT boats here. Let's get that one. There's one back there. We're definitely about to be surrounded now. But we should be okay as long as I am paying attention. Launch another shaft grenade. Let's take out the leader. Really need to hit this little PT boat. There we go. Get these other battleships out of the way. There we go. Other flare, just in case. Uh, where is the leader? There we go. Get him. And of course these other battleships as well. There we go. Get these guys. Battleship there. Enemy battleships. Doing much better this time as far as taking or not taking damage. Let's zoom out our local radar. There we go. I'm used to the uh, PSP now where like you do it one time and it just saves that setting so it always stays zoomed out there unless you change it again. Uh, in this mission, you have to. It starts off on this default 2000, um, and I will I like to have it zoomed all the way out so I can see more stuff around me. And on the PSP, it just saves that setting and when you change it one time. Uh, more battleships and stuff. Let's go ahead and hit them, I suppose. That's the last group as well. The last group of ships for now. Get this parts crate. They're still coming straight towards us, which is good for me because it means they're going to be uh, easier to get all of their stuff. Survivors and crates that they might drop. Until they stop moving, then fire again. Let's fire another illumination flare. Got some more ammunition, and then we're just gonna go do the uh, the same thing we did uh, in mission 190 and just strafe the shoreline. 
I forgot to mention it during the briefing last time, but I think it's odd that uh, they have that facility there when we have already come through here and destroyed pretty much everything. But I guess in canon, we didn't destroy absolutely everything. We just took out the radar installations. But they also kind of made it sound like we'd never heard of this place before, Emden. But we've definitely been here in a previous mission. But the way Brown was speaking, she was like, Oh, there's this port called Emden. Like, as if we'd never heard of it. But we've been here before, so I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I should look at, um, what the treasure is. Where'd my phone go? There we go. It's dying. I had to plug it into a charger. Let's see. The treasure is on EL1, but it's also on EL2. If it's on EL1, it's also on EL2. And it is, entering harbor triggers a series of transports which, after all, are destroyed triggers a cargo plane. Okay. Uh, can do. Can do. Enter engagement mode. Not close enough for engagement mode yet. Now we're close enough for engagement mode to take effect and actually fire at the uh, buildings with the high angle guns. So we will go about our usual campaign of just holding L2 and uh, letting the high angles go to work. This is why high angles are useful all the way right to the end of the game. They're so good at destroying uh, aircraft and, and buildings. They're really, really useful. I like that the uh, the airplanes um, on the local radar are are actually planes. Like the symbology is actual planes, um, but you never really get to tell when you're zoomed all the way out on the local radar because they just look like dots. Oh, submarines just spawned here. Hello, submarines. I hit some of those ones in the back there. Right, back to engagement mode here. I love Azrox combined with the Aegis system. So amazing. No transports yet. I think it said we have to enter the harbor first, though. Oh, there we go. Please stop the engines so that we can get our ground forces ashore. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and stop real quick. Hey, we did it. Oh, is it? Oh, oh. Okay, uh, that's odd. It didn't let us go back. Okay, well, we missed out on the treasure. Let me check what the treasure was. It's an EL1 treasure, so it's probably not amazing. Uh, but let me check on it real quick. Uh, chaff grenade. So, useful, but we already have it, so. Oh, well. I didn't know it was going to do that. Did we get all of the objectives at least? Yes, we got all the objectives. S rank. And a good chunk of change there. Nuclear reactor alpha, subnuclear reactor one, Vanguard 5, SU 37J, FI 167A 0. A couple of aircraft there. Hey, Silver Swan fourth class. Do we get our third barrel yet for the 61 centimeter guns? I hope so. All right, sorry for the awkward cut there. Uh, I got a call from my mom, so I had to take that. But uh, yeah, back on this. Oh goody, mission 280, my favorite. <laughs> oh boy. Returning nightmare. Yeah, they got that right. Straight through the briefing.
All right, uh, we got some money here. I want to see how far we can get with our uh, new battleship hull. I think we can probably get almost all the way there. Oh, wait, I think we can do it now. Yes, we can. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do that for sure. Okay, well, we have a new battleship now. Um, and do we have... Oh, come on. Those darn 61-centimeter triple barrels are not showing up. I guess we'll just research all of the cannon things, just in case it has something to do with that. I don't know why it would, but just in case. Also, these are relatively cheap, so why not? Um, how are you coming along? Three more turns on you, and I don't have enough to cover any more of that. High tech. Uh, ooh, plasma. So, wait, what does this look like? Okay. Um, Anti-ship surface, air weapon firing, charged particle beam. Average in size, but very powerful. All right, cool. We'll start that, I guess. Optical... These are very expensive, um, and we do not have enough for them now. Alrighty, well, all that said and done, let's go ahead and go to design. We will, uh, well, let's go ahead and yeah, we'll just we'll just do the change hull thing, I suppose. Normally, why I don't do the change hull thing is because it doesn't change the name of the ship, and the default name of the ship is the the name of the hull. So, I like to know what hull I'm using, but since uh, we have our own name on the ship this time, it won't actually matter at all. So, we might as well just go ahead and remove everything, because I want to just start from scratch anyways. So, we will just go ahead and remove all of this stuff, except uh, systems, actually. We don't have to remove systems, because I'm going to probably keep all of those the same. So, armor as well is uh, none. Wait a minute. Wait, what? 41 centimeter. Oh, I guess, oh, it's because we don't have, uh, yeah, it's we don't have any, um, stuff on the ship right now. Okay, change hull to a battleship hull, tier 7, here we go, so comparing these side by side here, weight only goes up by 200 tons, but the weight limit goes up by 3,000, which is cool, endurance goes up by 300, turn radius goes down a little bit, no more extra aircraft, oh, boy, this is gonna be fun. Ah, uh, man. Alright, well, we want our 61 centimeter guns now with two barrels. And let's see how close we can get these, like this. Okay, let's try to go with a similar layout to last time, where we had these out here. Um, yeah, let's go like this. Let's drop these down. And go forward like that. I think that's enough room for an engine in there. Let's check real quick. Standalone. Let's just grab one of these boilers and put that in there. Yes, that's enough room. Um, let me check on the boilers actually, because these boilers are very heavy. So let me actually just look at these here. So that's what we were using before. Less output, but a lot less weight as well. Um, I don't know, how much uh, do these nuclear reactors weigh? Um, a thousand tons each, so a thousand tons for 1250 output, 400 tons. See, just having two of these is better than one nuclear reactor, and it weighs less. So, um, yeah, I think if we go with these, let's see here, two of these has more output than one of those and almost weighs about the same only weighs slightly more to have two of these rather than one of those I think we will probably stick to um, I'll, we'll probably stick to the uh, what's our majigets boiler eight yeah I think so so we'll slide these up to the side here so we'll go there and whoopsies not there there I'll bring these back to here and here and up there and there. Let's see, weapons, this guy, place. I didn't actually have to do it that way, but whatever. Uh, if we go back to here, wait, what? Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, it's because of that, that slant that's in there. Um, and then now it's because the guns are not tall enough. So the, for the furthest forward we can put those is actually right there. Ah, uh, this is getting difficult already. 
forward bridge, not that one, no, no, no. We want uh, the good forward bridge down here, hello. Fitting, a Japanese forward bridge on a Japanese hull. Aft bridge, we have a, oh, we also have a Japanese aft bridge with a smokestack attached, that is fantastic. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. I want to try to get... I did that again when I didn't have to, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I want to try to get uh, a couple of these guys here. Make sure they're centered. Um, engines are going to be an unusual kind of placement, but uh, should be pretty much fine. So if we go like that, that should be enough room for more engines to squeeze in there. In fact, what I kind of want to try to do... Let me get uh, out of this here. I want to try to let's move these back and these and all of this stuff in the middle. If I can, I would like to make enough room for more boilers to fit in there. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Nope. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. Buttons, fumbling the buttons. Here we go. This up, 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 back. And there we go. There should be room for the boilers back there as well. I'm just trying to cram engines pretty much wherever I can here. Like so. Now let's get some propulsion. Com uh, not combined. No, no, no. Not combined. We want standalone here. Let's get our fancy steam turbines. Like this and this and that and that. Get some more boilers back here. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's unfortunate. And these cannons cannot go back anymore, so there is no way that we are getting any more of those in there. Well, yeah, we could, actually. We could. So if we move this forward, and then move this up, that up, move you forward. No, wait. No, we can't. Mm, not without this, which I don't want to do, because that's firepower that we're losing out on. Oh, well. I'll just put those back there, I guess. It's fine. That's fine. Um, got some more boilers there. And we can even come back here and put a few more. At least we'll have plenty of room for the helipad. We know that. Speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and put that on now before I forget. And load up the back with other stuff that we don't really need. There we go. Can we move it back uh, very far? Yeah, there we go. I like it when it's not right underneath the guns. Um... Let's see, can we actually just like lower these down here? Yeah, we can. There we go. It looks a little more a little more sleek on this top bit here, like this. Follow the reticle. Yeah, there you go. That looks pretty cool. Um, Alright, now what else do we got? Engines are done. Structures, we're going to need some searchlights. Uh, where? Oh, yep, we're going to... Oh, that's fine, I guess. We can put them, yeah, there we go, we can move them in right there. We can put them back here as well. Four is enough. Uh, structures, we're done. Engine systems are done. Weapons, okay, just weapons now. Weapon seven, be the high angle gun. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, no, machine guns first. Let's do the machine guns first. Nope, not those. We're doing CIWS now. Okay, so we've got a ton of AA guns in the middle there. They look a little weird, but eh. Oh well, it's, it'll be fine. Uh, what else can we do? We got uh, some missiles to put on here now. So let's find our... Where are we at here? Oh yeah, we want our uh, Azeroks. I think these are in the wrong slot, but it's uh, switching that is easy enough. So we will put these under here. Nope, can we put them up, down? Up, down. What? Uh, English. What is wrong with that language, <laughs> or this language that I'm currently speaking? I may speak English, but uh, that doesn't mean I can't think it's weird, because I think it is. But, um, yeah. Let's get some Azeroks on here, I suppose, like this. They are in the wrong spot, but if we just do this, we can move them out of the way. Come back, get our rockets. We want chaff grenades in this uh, weapon slot here. Let's put the chaff grenades uh, here, I suppose. Whoopsie, it's not there. Can't go there. There we go. There and there. And then we will come back to this spot here. Get our illumination flares. And there we go. Uh, perfect. We'll just go with a couple of those. We don't need a ton of them. 
Um, what else can we do? Weapons, what else do we usually have? Oh yeah, the ram. Missile launcher on the back for some AA. Uh, help. So, put this back here. And for the sake of, you know, making sense, we'll turn it around so it faces backwards. Alright, well, there we go. New battleship. Um, it's, uh, let's see, a little slow. Can I speed this up, maybe, by going like this? And, oh, I can go one more even back here. There we go. It's uh, a little bit faster than the last one, actually. Um, I guess without having so many barrels, these 61 centimeter guns are actually a little bit lighter than the 50.8s. So 61 centimeter with two barrels, probably a little bit lighter than 50.8 with four barrels. Uh, which maybe I could compare, actually. Hang on. Let me, uh, whoopsies. Part details. 1702. Okay. So what if we wanted to place, um, well, here, let's just remove this for now and then place, or mock place, anyways. 50.8. 75 caliber, four barrels. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier, as I suspected. And then we can just uh, get out of this, undo. There we go, we have it back. We should, oh, we need to put our aircraft back on because we did get rid of the, um, we did get rid of the heliport for a little while there. Um, support helicopter, get our AS-332L because it's super fast. Oh, I forgot to put it in group B, edit. Go down to here, group B, there we go. Okay, well, there's the new battleship. Let's back out of here and see what it looks like in the dock. Same amount of turrets, but half as many guns, but they are all bigger, which is nice. Okay, well, there's the new battleship. I like the uh, the way the cannons look. Alrighty, well, uh, I think I'm going to call that an episode, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.